what's up YouTube here to talk about Royal Rumble. Uh, so the day after, I had a little bit of time to cool down. I wasn't going to do a video, but since Raw is basically a, a replay of the Royal Rumble with a couple extra interviews thrown in there, I was like, eh, I don't know what to do, so I'll just make a video. And it's kind of responding to Miss WWE Fans 13's uh, video about how she said how the IWC and whatever should quit complaining because she thought that it's your know, Marine's time, but I respectfully disagree with her stance. Uh, you should go subscribe to her. She has great videos and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, I think Dana Bryan should have won the Royal Rumble. I I don't I don't dislike Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is all right, but he's he's not ready for this for this match at WrestleMania 31. He could be ready at WrestleMania 32. He could uh, if he could face Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 32, face John Cena, face Dana Bryan as a champion. I don't know, but he. 31 is just not his time right now. He doesn't have he doesn't have the mic skills. He doesn't have the in-ring work to carry a match with Brock Lesnar. Uh, basically, all Roman Reigns really does is, you know, punch, stomp, Superman punch, Samoan drop, spear, repeat. Uh, on his promos, basically, he just recites these lines, which isn't his fault. But he has to say these stupid things like sucker and succotage and tell tall tales of punching giants in the face and you know it's just not working out and that was evidence with the Philly crowd yesterday at the Royal Rumble and uh when Dana Bryan came out at number 10 I was like this isn't gonna end well because there's no way he's gonna go he's gonna get eliminated early and then Roman Reigns is gonna come out and they're just gonna it's not gonna be pretty and that's ended up what happened but in the Royal Rumble lottery I actually got 19 Roman was 19 he won but I gave everyone's money back because I was pissed off and then I just Went and cried in a corner because Roman Reigns won. But uh, it is what it is. Roman Reigns won. So now it's kind of uh, damage control. What do they do from here? Because I don't know if they'll just do a replay and just put Dana Bryan in the title match because technically he never actually lost the championship. But, you know, he didn't actually, he never brought that up before he went to, before the Royal Rumble. So why would he bring it up now when he lost? He lost clean. Like there was no outside interference. He jumped over the top rope and. He was kicking and messing around with Rusev, and then Bray Wyatt comes in and hits him. But, yeah, so, uh, there's Fastlane up in February. Maybe uh, Curtis Axel comes out, and he's like, you know, I never got eliminated, but I'll let my boy Dana Bryan take a place, and him and Ru uh, Roman Reigns can fight it out of Fastlane, and then Dana Bryan wins. But, you know, uh, I highly doubt that'll happen. I don't know what's going through Vince's man Vince McMahon's mind right now, thinking that Roman Reigns is ready he's not he's not ready at all doesn't mean he can be ready but just not at this point right now i thought that a dana bryan brock lesnar match would be like match of the year by far if they can go out there and do what they can do dana bryan people say that oh dana bryan's not a legitimate contender against brock lesnar brock lesnar would murder him in real life but early ufc days hoist gracie or whatever. I don't not a big UFC fan, but one of the Gracie people, you know, they they're really small and they're just up there just, you know, tapping bigger guys out like it's nothing. You know, put them in pretzels. So, if Dana Bry if Hoist Gracie can do that, why can't Dana Bryan do it up against Brock Lesnar? Dana Bryan has the offense. He can, you know, do all these different mat holds, do all these kicks and submissions and stuff. And it would be a great match. I would love to see that match. I'd much rather see a Dana Bryan match and Brock Lesnar up against Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Now, Brock Lesnar probably, he might actually turn face and Roman Reigns could be the heel in this match if Brock Lesnar isn't, uh, Brock Lesnar signs with WWE and he keeps on going, you know, for however long he signs a contract for. Because at the Royal Rumble, Brock Lesnar, I talked about prediction video, how he basically turned face before then. He was also a face in the Royal Rumble match or the Triple Threat match because he didn't really do anything. He was just kicking ass, taking names. He was all, he was basically dead on the Spanish announce table after taking that awesome bump from, after, after taking that awesome elbow drop from Seth Rollins, who like soared through the air. And then he was, he was down for like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. And all of a sudden he rises from the dead, comes in, suplexes people, just throws John Cena out the way. And then Seth Rollins, you know, hits him in the head a couple times with the money in the bank. And then he's going for the curb stomp, jumps up, F5s him, one, two, three, bam. So I don't know. How we're supposed to hate Brock Lesnar? He just he just goes out there and wins, like what uh, Paul Heyman said. And uh, the crowd reaction is going to be interesting to see how maybe this this heat 
from Ro from the Royal Rumble on the Roman Reigns transfers on these other crowds if they looking like oh my you know they don't like Roman Reigns so maybe I don't like Roman Reigns because I like Daniel Bryan a lot more so I'm gonna boo Roman Reigns and I'm gonna cheer for Daniel Bryan but uh, I don't know what they're gonna do with Roman Reigns because you know I don't know how many other times I can say this I just don't believe he's ready for that spot because he just he just doesn't have it he, I mean he has it but he hasn't been able to bring it out just let the man talk because he seems like a cool dude so if you just don't script him and just tell him hey just you know hit these bullet points and just go out there and talk and you know talk crap and basically just be the rock he's really to the rock why can't he like when i saw the rocks promo last week or yesterday after the royal rumble you know it wasn't the best but it's still leaps and bounds above any promo roman reigns has ever done and i was just like if roman reigns was half as good at talking as uh, the rock would be he'd be fine and if he was, you know, as good in the ring as The Rock would be, he'd be fine. He'd be a huge star. I don't know if he'd be as big as The Rock and go on to be a movie star, but, you know, he could be the next John Cena, which I think he can, he might be able to be the next John Cena. But just right now, he's not ready. We want Dana Bryan to be in the main event because Dana Bryan never lost. Dana Bryan, you know, Dana Bryan's the man. I don't understand what Vince McMahon doesn't see with Dana Bryan. He has the most crowd reactions out of anybody on, well, maybe except for John Cena, but he gets the most crowd reaction out of anybody on the roster. You can say, oh, it's just because of the yes chance and, you know, it's fun to do. But uh, Brock Le or Ryback has the Phoebe Moore chance, and yeah, they're loud, but they're, they're nowhere as loud as the yes chance and everyone putting their arms up in the air. And the yes chance have gone, you know, beyond wrestling on to sports, uh, the San Francisco Giants, Hunter Pence was doing the yes chant, and then Dana Bryan goes out and uh, parties with them at the parade, and freaking WrestleMania is in the Bay Area. He has ties to this, to San Francisco. He, you know, oh my god, this is so stupid, but I don't know what they do with Dana Bryan. Maybe they put him in a match with Seth Rollins, they just go out there and just kick ass and absolutely tear down the house, but I'm going to WrestleMania, I'm going the night after WrestleMania at Raw. And actually, I'm I'm kind of more excited to go to the Raw after Mania because I want to see if they stick if they stick to their guns and they just go Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar's heel, Roman Reigns face. Even though it's probably it might be flip flop to rest at WrestleMania with everyone going behind Brock Lesnar, even though he might be leaving, but they don't give a damn. They want to see Brock Lesnar kick the shit out of Roman Reigns because they don't like it, Roman Reigns because he took Daniel Bryan's spot. But you know, Roman Reigns goes out there, has his victory party, and then we're just booing the shit out of him, and you know. They kind of try to drown us out or, you know, don't they don't mic us up as much as they used to because they know what's coming. And, you know, we know what's happening, but the crowd of the people out there in TV line don't know what happened. And then Roman Reigns, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, uh, if I was Vince McMahon, I would, I would turn Roman Reigns heel and then go with Brock Lesnar and then just have Brock Lesnar, uh, go with, uh, you know, beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Nothing lost. You know, plenty of people that have been in the Royal Rumble have lost. Batista lost last year. Roman Reigns lost. Well, well, I don't know if he'll lose this year. He might win. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Roman Reigns won. And uh, now we got to gotta deal with it and just see where they go from here. I'm not I'm not in the camp of canceling the WWE Network. I'm not going to not gonna do that because, uh, you know, which is unrealistic. I mean, it is what it is. You know, share, voice your opinion. There was, I saw that they were uh, protesting, like, blocking the entrance and the exit in the parking lot so the wrestlers can't get out. And apparently the Usos were super pissed off with the fans and they were yelling at them. I didn't really, they didn't really say what happened. But, you know, that's one way to get your point across. You know, protest. We the people. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think. If, you know, I was bitching complaining the whole entire video, I'm sorry. You know, tell me what you guys think. If Roman Reigns, if you want Roman Reigns in the title picture, if he deserves it, if Dana Bryan should be in there, what they should do, how they kind of makes this thing work out. Because I don't know if this thing is just going to go on to WrestleMania and people are going to start turning on Roman Reigns. But, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Follow me Twitter and Instagram. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later.